What is happening, y'all? Welcome to Part 7, Ashina Castle, Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. But anyway, here we are at the Upper Tower Antechamber. Uh, you should have some skill points saved on up, and that means it's time to spend them. So go ahead and get your Ascending Carp, and then save that last point. That flowing water. But anyway, so, there is a guy right beyond this wall. And we're not going to death blow him. We can, but instead, this is a nice one-on-one -on -one fight. This guy attacks pretty fast. And the main reason I suggest is this guy is going to be really good deflect practice. There's a lot of these dudes here. They're pretty brutal. So I would suggest taking some time and just getting down timings on those guys. But anyway, after him, go ahead and open this door. We're not even worried about this. We're going to come back here later. Instead, jump on and rope over here. Now, you'll notice that we have three dudes and this guy. We're going to try and get him. He is he is beastly. He's like the guy we just fought. These are three regular run-of-the-mill scrubs. So go ahead and leap. Get that aerial. Wait for these scrub -of dubs to... Come on. Come through the door so I can light you all on fire. <laughs> what the run? <laughs> oh my god, I'm on fire! slow. just realized I don't have Itchy Munji on yet. Itchy Munji! Oh, come on. Whatever. That's just as good. So anyway, suck on one up. That right, gold. Run over here. Pop this open. Remember that general that we killed where we got the uh, thing earlier? Here's that gate. Just love the interconnectivity, don't you? You guys just eat it on up. Break these statues. Nope, you can't, damn it. Break all that, though. But anyway, come on into here, get the eel liver, and our next prosthetic tool! Sabimaru! Now, Sabiwara is not bad. It's a short sword that you use in conjunction with your katana. Um, great for poisoning enemies. There's not many enemies you can poison, but the blue robe guys, like the one we just jumped down on, it works great against them. Uh, works great against a boss that we're going to fight upstairs in a little bit. And late game, like super late game, it works great against people once you get to uh, Fountainhead Palace. <clears throat> so anyway, grab those, head on this way, and pop this door open. In this water, there's actually a boss. There's also a couple of carp, but these are just regular carp. I don't even know if they're actually carp. They seem like giant piranhas, and they have very big teeth. And uh, I know carps are more bottom dwellers. But so anyway, we're not super concerned with the water right now. Uh, the one thing we do want to do is go over there and get an eavesdrop. Before that, we're going to head this way. Rope on up. Here. Aw, oh, spear bro sauce. That's okay. His friend hasn't. So somebody's getting a death blow. I don't know which one, but somebody is. No. 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 Thank you for the money. Alright, so real fast, just hit this up. I don't even need to worry about resting here. We're just going to unlock it. We're going to be coming back to this area in a second here. Run over to the grave. Grab the Dragon's Blood Droplet. Um, we're going to go over here. Get our eavesdrop. Sam, we don't have enough salt. We've been using it for cooking, and now we can't heal wounds. So, go back to our merchant, bro, now that we got that tip. But first, you know, got to do a little boop in here. Dude. Oh, you're too slow. Y'all see that maneuver? It's called the Shinobi Shuffle. All right, so, grab this. Jump up. Now this is going to be... Oop. 
little, god damn it, a little tricky. Uh, but what you effectively have to do is like jump off the wall. There we go. So it's a little bit weird, but what we're doing here is we're jumping, we're pulling back on the left stick, and then we're hitting either X or square at the same time. So jump. That's just a causing him to grab that roof. To go on over here, grab this. Don't mention or uh, don't don't bother with the fish. One over here to the balloon. Rope up. Make sure you have shurikens on. We're heading down this way to get another idol. Spirit. And there we go. Now, I know a lot of people end up, <clears throat> they end up going across here and going down to uh, the gun fort and all that. I would not suggest doing it right now. Uh, in fact, this is considered more of a uh, kind of latish game area. And the main reason for that is to really progress into the gun fort. You need a key. You don't get the key for the gun fort until after you've beat Genichiro. So, needless to say, we're, we still got quite a bit to do uh, before that. But you could go on over there and grab that item if you want. Actually, I think in my notes, do I have a note about that? The rope, do, 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 do. shortcut in this pond, kill later. Kill spear guy, kill his friend, eavesdrop, grab a scrap iron, head down to the grate. No, we don't grab that for now. Okay. But anyway, from here, we're gonna travel back to Ashina Outskirts Stairway. And even though we're going to upgrade our merchant, um, I would not recommend buying anything. You're going to want your gold. Because we're going to go visit the Black Hat Badger, and there's two things he sells that are very, very useful. <laughs> So anyway, he doesn't have anything yet, but if we rest and change the world state, he will upgrade his inventory, as I mentioned. Um, we're not really concerned with it right now, so instead just head on back out. Uh, real fast, just for curious. Let's see, where is my Anayama note? So, after upgrading him, he sells Goken Sugar, uh, Yashikiru Sugar, Heavy Purses, and Infinite Scrap Iron and Infinite Gunpowder. So your, your uh, basic upgrade materials will have those. But those are pretty easy to farm, especially as we move towards the, uh, the more late game areas. So I wouldn't worry too much about it, but, you know, just food for thought in case that's something you're interested in. Uh, anyway, let me get back to us. Um, do, do, do. About the salt tip. Great. Alright, so now we are going to head um, back over Ashina Castle, Old Grave. Uh, drop down to here. <clears throat> I would suggest crouch walking through here. Grab the sugar. ahead. Oh! Ah, Christ. Slipped. Go ahead and just reset this. Um, so there's a bunch of gun dudes around here, in particular cannoneers, uh, which, you know, as we saw that one cannon guy earlier, I know we quickly dispatched him, but if you didn't quickly dispatch him, uh, you probably know what a pain in the ass they can be. But anyway, so you can see this platform. There he is. Whatever. He saw us. That doesn't matter. Just trying to get there is the point we want. There we go. Oh my god, you dick. Oh my god. 
I guess we're gonna have to do him the easy way. He can kill his own guys, so, you know, food for thought there. But instead, let's just, we'll, we'll reset and we'll just death blow him. Cat Badger. Go ahead and kill these dudes. Uh, Alright. Them out of the way. We're going to head back up. We're not resetting. But we're going to head up. See this little building with the hole in the roof? Drop down to that. Drop inside. And this is the Black Hat Badger. So anyway, the big reason this guy is so useful is he sells the Iron Fortress Shinobi tool. Uh, he also sells Anti-Air Death Blow, which is super, super nice to pick up. It allows you to just instantly death blow enemies that are hanging in the air. Uh, this merchant will vanish in the late game. If he does and you haven't bought the Iron Fortress, it'll be laying right here for you to just pick up. But over here, I would suggest popping any gold you have and trying to pick up those items. Uh, I would go as far as to say that if you don't have enough gold, it's time to do a little bit of farming. So, I have enough for Iron Fortress, which is good. 1,200 more for Anti-Air Death Blow. Oof, that hurts to look at. But, we can farm that up pretty quickly, uh, doing a couple different things. So anyway, um, we're going to walk out from here and grab that sugar while we're still on the ledge. See, there is a another, uh, another gunner guy. Guy saw me, that's fine. Gunner hasn't seen me yet, and that's all that really matters. Take him out. This guy's like, wait a minute. I saw somebody here. Oh my god, there he is. Nice spear thrust, bro. Don't worry about this, we're getting it all in a second. What you get for looking at your phone, playing on the Twitter while everyone else is working. A little bit late there, friend. I just find it funny that the alarm guy was uh, the only one left at the end. Uh, so anyway, uh, grab the sugar, jump down, cannon bro, jump and kill everyone. Good above. Sugar, shard, light purse, and an ash. Right, and then up down below. And we have some gunpowder. All right, uh, so from here, we're going to head on back to the last commune idol. I head down the, uh, um, let me see. Oh, no, never mind. Let's see. Like in my notes, I ended up killing the monkeys after this. Kill the monkeys, grab the balloon, hit the idol. Leap oh, no, okay. All right, well, we'll go back and do that real fast. There's some loot that I, I missed. I was looking at a different part of my notes, which this also gives us a uh, chance to do a little bit of farming. Oh, too slow. Gotcha. Die. Good try, but where do you no points? Oh, man, look at you and your thrust. That uh, that posture buff move that I was talking about, generals doing. Yeah. All right, 
so I missed some stuff over here, it looks like. Uh, just checking here. Grab the balloon. Kill them. Grab the balloon. Head down to the truck. Kill the monkeys. Grab the balloon. Hit the idol. Leap across for an eel. Homeward out. down here. Can't have that, man. Can't have a 100% walkthrough that doesn't have all the loot. Did that before. Comments just get filled with cowboy you miss loot comments. No oh, way, I did grab that. Out of my goddamn mind. Well, we'll hop across and grab the eel. That'll be useful for a boss fight that's coming up. Checking to make sure I... Mistake in my notes. Nope. Okay. Grab the eel, hit the idol, leap across for eel, homeward out. Okay. Um, looks like next we are... Oh, never mind. I was looking at... I was misreading my notes, that's why. For now, we want to go back to Ashina Castle and go left, open the door to get the mats and balloon, then back in. That's what we're doing. So, travel back to Ashina Castle. This time we're going to be going left. This. Pop this open. Now you can also get to this path from the moat if you just go swimming a little bit. Here. There's the scrap iron and balloon on the Drop on down, grab the idol, pop this open. And then rest. How are we on stuff? I guess it doesn't hurt the rest. Alright. So these dudes have an eavesdrop. Shinobi's being seen. I heard the same, but it feels like every day. I know. Just go show. show. Battle's gonna be upon us soon. Anyway, take them out. Suck up all that good gold. Alright. Um, Let's see. From the idol, you can rope across and... Oh, it's right, the uh, escape route, so. Remember this, this is, uh, this is basically like the start of the game, you know? We escaped, there's the, uh, the secret chamber down there. Here's the bridge from earlier. But there's some stuff here that we want. We got three of those gremlin-y looking bastards. Just like before, these guys just shit out experience. Scrap. Heavy purse. Tank. One more. Oh. There he is, that's the one. Or our Mibu Balloon Spirit. Uh, let's see, leap up, kill the gremlins, snag mats, large pounce, and balloon. Okay. Oh. Keep an eye on my gold, trying to build that up to pick up anti air death blow. Um, see, this is locked. You can't go there to the field, but anyway, uh, after taking them all out, you can you know either just rope your way on back. Actually, I don't know if we can. Yeah, we can. 
No, we can't. Oh my god, I thought I was going to lose it for a second. I was like, I'm not going to make it. Um, checking the notes. Let's see. Tell them no. Boss. Okay. Arm bro next. Ooh, that was a close one. Jump, jump, grab. The alarm guy. Go across. Alright, now. This is a side quest, bro. As I mentioned, you can either send this guy down to the dungeon, or alternatively, you can do his side quest, which will eventually... It, it basically, he just, like, wanders from zone to zone as you go into Ashina Depths, and eventually he just lies there, and he dies, and you get a statue for it. So, um, I'm going to be going for the upgrade mats. So, read him. Anyway, he's patrolling the moat. You're a shinobi. You can't tell him who you are. Keep talking to him. He's talking about the shamisen. I followed the sound. And you can either not mention the dungeon, in which case the next time you come back, he's gone and he's already gone in deeper. Or you can lure him to the abandoned dungeon. So, uh, really, like I said, this comes down to whether you want a statue or the upgrade mats. Personally, I'm all about them upgrade mats. Anyway, uh, so if we go on up here, notice a guy right there. Now, personally, um, I just don't think it's worth fighting this guy right now. The the lone shadows do a lot of damage. Um, we, we I could probably kill him for a new player, no fucking way. But so, you know, you know he's here. Uh, when we come back later, you just drop from here to get a free death blow on him. But for now, at least, just leave him behind. Uh, he is worth a prayer beat, worth mentioning. But anyway, uh, so, let's see. Back across. Hide. A couple different guys we're going to kill here. But first, that gate key we got. Pop this open. And our spear. Broken horn. Have the heavy coin purse as well. Getting that gold to pick up the loot we need. Um, now we're going to dispatch a couple other enemies. Get this guy. Only a couple pieces of loot here. Um, we're gonna be coming back here later to fight the boss, but I really wanted to just kind of show you it real quick. So take them down. Big boy, see me? They did. All right. Well, that's fine. Right, grab the fistful of ash and uh, pellet. I'm uh, just checking my notes. Let's see. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Shard, dispatch enemy for ash and pellet. Yes. Um, and I wrote down that there was a ceramic shard. I don't think we grabbed it, did we? No, we did. No. Um, so at the edge of this area, up there, you can see a guy standing there by the castle. That's a spear mini boss. Uh, similar to the Lone Shadow, I just I wouldn't recommend fighting him right now. Uh, he's gonna do a lot of damage, and you're probably gonna get your just your ass beat. So just skip him for now. Uh, in particular, at a bare minimum, I would suggest getting Shinobi Eyes before you try to tackle that guy. Um, but we have three skill points. Let's get Flowing Water, and that knocks out the main passives that we want in the Ashina Tree. I'm also going to pick up Ichimonji Double just because I love this ability, but, you know, that's on me. Uh, so from here, we're going to travel back over to the Upper Tower Antechamber. Couple pieces of loot we're going to try and get here, and then we have a boss fight to wrap things up. See if I can do this all and keep it under 30 minutes, but anyway. Oh, no shit, did I not get it yet? Ah, Christ. 
Gotta go put on Kusabi Maru. It helps a lot in this boss fight. Fit our new tools on. Loaded spear, Sabi Maru, loaded umbrella. Uh, looking at the upgrades, where do I want to go? Let's get you first. Don't have the mats, that's okay. Even with base Sabi Maru, we can probably pull it off. Sabi, 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 Sabi Maru. So go on up, circle around. We're just gonna death blow this guy. So there's a couple guys that are pathing. You can see that one over there. You can see that one right there. That one's gonna go into a room. This one has, uh, has moved. We can right on up and get him. Go. Kill the old lady. Before she gets to the door. Him, get the pellet. This way. Two enemies here. One of those is the guy that we just fought. The other one's a blue bro. Kill the first one. And this is why I recommended you fighting one of these guys earlier, because... Ah, oh, shit. Thrust. Nice thrust, though. button because I'm so used to just thrusting on spears. Alright, with him dead, go ahead and pick up our winnings. Most importantly, hug that wall. yourself a prayer bead. I think that's it. Let me just check here. Um, let's see. Uh, upper tower pellet. Kill the other two in the next room. Sugar and upgrade mats go on the wall. Prayer bead, heavy purse, light purse. Okay. up the, I wrote down that there was, I know there's a sugar above us, but, um, here? Oh, I killed the other two. Yeah. yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, so, from here, move on up. Here. This. See a couple different guys here. Basic bitch. We got an old guy. We got a lady. Uh, and unfortunately, you can't really get the 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 aerial on that one. So let's kill this guy. Blue robe guys are the ones that Sabi Maru was or uh, Sabi Maru was great against. We're gonna go ahead and hit this. You have eye frames while you're opening doors. I did not think all of his uh, friends were going to come along, so things just got a little hairy. Thankfully, he's poisoned, so we got that going for us, which is nice. But fighting all of them at the same time is definitely ill-advised. These guys can, can do 
some major work. So instead, we're going to just swing this way, pick up the Meeple Balloon of Wealth, shoot up the stairs, turn real quick, and get this idol. But typically what I would recommend doing is drawing that guy out of the room just to make things uh, a little bit easier there. Um, but if you can't, you know, like like you saw, we were able to, to sprint up and get to the tower very quickly. Um, so we're actually going to, I think we're going to wrap this one up here because we still got a couple things to grab here. Uh, but in the next episode, we're going to be making our return back to Harada, taking on the Drunkard and the Butterfly. And we're going to kick things off with the uh, Ashina Elite right here in the, uh, the dojo area. So make sure to stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys soon enough with more.